outside and walking to the studio here you can see how cold it is that's ice baby and I'm here at the studio okay so I'm in the studio and as you can see my hair is still wet from the shower uh, but it didn't freeze so that's good um, it'll dry soon Anyway, today is a really exciting day because today I get to photograph first a newborn girl, sweet little girl. I photographed her parents during a maternity session. Um, so I'm really happy to see them again with their little baby. And then in the afternoon, I have a newborn session with twins. So super cool day. Um, it's 9.30 now. First session starts at 10 until 12. And then the second one starts at 1 until 3. We'll just see how we go because it's twins so we might take a little bit more time. Um, so we're going to set up now, vacuum, um, and then we're all ready to go. So yeah, first I have to tidy up the mess from yesterday. And a maternity session yesterday and a newborn session. But I finished off with the maternity session. So I'm going to take down this background. Underneath this is a white one. I'm going to take it down as well. And then I have my beige, which I use for the family photos during a newborn session. Okay, so I'm going to set up the backdrop for the first newborn session. And the parents uh, have told me that they like the pink and salmon colors. So I'm going to throw on this backdrop. It's structured, it has beautiful flowers, um, it's not stretchy, which is not ideal, but for this backdrop, I'll, um, I'll leave with that. So here we have the backdrop, and I've picked out some matching wraps and headbands. So the first girl who's coming, she is eight days old today which is a little bit younger than most newborns I photograph uh, but she's doing really well, her parents are re doing really well and they want to use the photos on their birth announcement cards um, so yeah, and they live really nearby so uh, they decided to come today, it's Saturday and um, it, it worked just really well for them I actually had another shoot today, cakes my session but it got cancelled uh, because the girl got sick but I already knew that last week so I could schedule this little newborn girl today in the morning. Um, so yeah, um, I'm really excited. So yeah, while I'm waiting for my first client, I thought I would just give you some information about the twins who are coming today in the afternoon. Uh, they're boys. So their actual due date was the 13th of March. Um, so today it's actually the 3rd of March, um, so they were not actually due yet, but twins usually are not born around 40 weeks, we're a little bit early. So they were actually born on uh, the 14th of January, uh, which means that they were born premature. Uh, right now they're already, well, I, I guess six weeks old, a month and a half old, um, which is a lot older than most newborns I photograph but in the case of twins uh, or well in the case of babies who are born premature I usually look at uh, the due date or just you know seeing how it goes like they had to stay in the hospital first so of course they had to 
come out of the hospital and recover and uh, gain some weight and make sure that they could drink and um, regulate their temperature. I usually discuss with the parents, you know, we can schedule the newborn session around the due date, but if things go well um, and they have a green light to take the boys outside and they're just growing and healthy and happy, we can always do it earlier. So they're coming in this afternoon. So they could be wide awake because they're already like a month and a half old, but they could also still be sleeping the whole time because they're actually just really small still. But we'll see. I'm just setting up a little bit. And even though they picked pink and purple as their theme color, I think it would be really cool to photograph the little girl in here. And uh, yeah, I've already set up this one as well. I still have some real eucalyptus dried leaves. I don't know if it adds anything, but otherwise I'll just remove it. And then for the last decor, we're just gonna go here, probably get some blankets and posing pillows in here. Here we'll do the parent shot. So yeah, they're a little bit late, but that's usually what happens when you go out with the newborn for the first time. <laughs> just finished the session with the little girl and uh, she was sleeping at first then she woke up uh, she was quite happy just being awake we took some family photos so they just left um, and now I am gonna go and set up for the twins um, like these earthy tones uh, but actually first I'm gonna go to my neighboring supermarket the little uh, to grab some lunch So I thought I would just show you what I bought. Normally I also buy my baby wipes, plastic bags, uh, which I use during cake smash session, floor wipes for the cake smash session. Um, I buy a lot of little coffee, tea, all those kind of things. I do have enough of those things. So what I did buy was some bread, um, a croissant. Uh, this one is for later today. And then I do have like in my kitchen a station with some um, like energy bars, like fruit bars, with some cookies for the kids. And what else? More energy bars, um, more cookies for the kids. So I have just something that the parents can grab. Uh, for now, my lunch, I also have a smoothie, bananas, well, I don't know if I'm going to have a banana because I had one in my smoothie this morning. Um, seriously, the best product they have in the little is the sour jelly beans. I love, love, love them. I might just have a few now and then um, later today. And some cashew nuts. So I'm just going to put all these little cookies in the kitchen and have lunch. So I changed the backdrop. Um, I have two identical outfits, like little shorts. And then I have two hats, which are not identical at all, but kind of have the same feel and look as far as the material goes. So that might be cute. And then I have two outfits, same design, different color. See what parents like. I think I want to place the boys in a bowl together right here. So I'm going to get a big bowl.
battery died and I was allowed to film during the twin session but anyway it went great now it's gonna die again I'm gonna show you the photos okay so I'm back home charge the battery just a little bit but anyway we're going to Ikea right now which I mean it's 4 p.m. right now we don't go to Ikea all the time after I've done just two sessions of which one with twins because I'm pretty exhausted I'm pretty tired but we're still gonna go to Ikea just to chill and relax uh, have dinner there and then head home because it was my daughter's break this week we didn't go out that much and they like to go the kids and the husband so we go to Ikea. Look, they have the really cool Ikea blanket in pink now as well. I'm using the white one. I might buy this one as well. These ones are perfect to organize your headbands or outfits, like newborn outfits or hats. And I'm just gonna buy a few more. This can be like a nice little seat. Especially when you paint it. I had some people asking me about my white floor in the studio and it is this one. So this is the floor that I have in the studio and I also have my panels in the back as a background which is the same one. We have some buckets for the bucket pose which I don't really do. But otherwise these ones would be nice. So yes, I have just edited two sessions, I've sent out two previews, it's way too late, so now it's time to go to bed. this day in the life I hope you enjoyed it and um, yeah just let me know in the comments and then I'll see you in the comments and you'll see me in my next video good night thank you for watching bye bye